Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek. Today I have some speculation and some theories I'm going to create upon the NBC television show by the name of Crossing Lines. If you watch my whodunit speculation video, it will be very similar, pretty much exactly like my whodunit video. In my whodunit video, I gathered resources from other previously cancelled ABC television series and I compared them to who done it to see whether or not we'll have a season two. I'm going to do the same thing with Crossy Lines on the NBC channel. I'm going to compare previously canceled television series by the name of Do No Harm, you know, a Jekyll, a, a modern day uh, Dr. Jekyll and Hyde series. I'm going to compare Do No Harm on NBC to the ratings of Crossy Lines. I'm going to compare both of those shows' ratings, and if the ratings are similar, if they've drastically dropped, and if, you know, the, 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 the count seems to be very similar. The same, uh, the same death could be, you know, crossing lines could be cut if the ratings are very similar. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? As of, let's see, according to my sources, as of August 11th of 2013, a total of eight episodes, once again, that's eight episodes, have premiered of the NBC television show by the name of Crossing Lines. So far, I've really enjoyed the show. I love Mark Levine. I really like William Figner and Donald Sutherland. It's just kind of like an added bonus to the show because he's kind of like a, I guess you could say, like a supporting minor character. Like kind of a, kind of, I guess you could say, a big supporting character in the show. Recently, his character has gotten pretty big. You know, you don't really know his true intentions or anything like that. It seems that he's kind of shady. Uh, Anyways, let's not get sidetracked. So, like I said, eight episodes have premiered with the last one called Desperation and Desperados, with this two-hour season finale airing tomorrow on NBC, 8 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock for everyone else. Once again, I said that's a two-hour season finale. Well, do no harm on the NBC channel. It was canceled, believe it or not, two episodes in. It had a premiere of 3.12, that's a little over 3 million viewers, of the Do No Harm series, and they gave it the axe two episodes in. The second answer titled Don't Answer the Phone for the Do No Harm television series had only a little over 2 million viewers, 2.21 million. I guess they were wanting something just a lot, you know, a lot more viewers. As of the... But it, like I said, it only had two episodes, and what they did was then they, you know, it took several months later, you know, almost a year later, they decided to, you know, air the series again, starting on the third episode, and I believe recently the Sci-Fi Channel has also picked up the series, though it probably won't go anywhere. They did the same thing with The River, and it didn't go anywhere, so it probably won't either, though you never know, right? Uh, so anyways, according to my sources, it seems that Do No Harm's ratings were very low, and they cut it. Well, of course, Crossy Lines, it being a cop show and all, you know, the kind of uh, pr police procedural show, uh, kind of similar to CSI and stuff, but a lot better if you ask me. Though I haven't really watched it, so I really can't say. Uh, but from what I can see, it's better. Anyways, uh, but like I said, I can't say. So Crossy Lines has had quite a bit more viewers. On its pilot episode, it had a total of 4.37, a little over 4 million viewers for the NBC television show by the name of Crossy Lines. So like I said, quite a bit more than Do No Harm. And they kept it airing because on the second episode, or the third, I guess they have it because, you know, the first episode was two hours. A title The Terminator, they had 3.71 million viewers. And as of the eighth episode titled Desperation and Desperados, it's hit that low mark very similar to what Do No Harm hit. It hit, you know, Do No Harm, they canceled when it had 2.21 million viewers, and Crossy Lines has, ha has now hit the low mark of 2.51 million viewers, you know, has about, you know, about 2.5 million viewers. It's hit that low mark. You know, when a series hits, you know, one, two, three million viewers, you know, as long as, you know, if it's on like FX or AMC or AND, those are a lot different because those are the satellite. You know, only people with satellite television like Direct or, Di or Dish or Cox or, you know, only people like that can, you know, watch that show. So that's a little, that's a lot different. You know, one million, you know, ABC family, that's fine for them. You know, they'll keep running. But if there's channels like CBS and Fox. And, you know, like I'm talking about NBC, it's a lot different. They want more than, you know, one or two or even three and sometimes even four million viewers, as in the case with ABC's canceled television show by the name of The River. It had almost four million viewers and they still canceled it. You know, the finale, you know, they still canceled it. So it's still not on par with what they're wanting. Crossing Lines seems to be in the same light, 
they have just you know a little over two million viewers, similar to what Do No All Harm had. Once again, the ratings are very similar, though Crossy Lines has had just a little bit more, just you know a few million more. But you know, like I said, Do No All Harm drastically dropped in its you know first you know only its two episode run, and the same thing with Crossy Lines is it had a decent you know but soft. Uh, first episode, and then as the season kept on going, it drastically dropped. So, what do you guys think about a season two of Crossing Lines? Do you think it's good enough to have a season two, or do you think it's just like a kind of like a season one deal? So far, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, they could take this further, them solving different crimes, getting closer to the murder of, you know, the Frenchman, you know, Mark Levine's son. You know, getting closer to him. You know, and it seems like the season finale, it seems that they may have finally found him. I'm pretty sure that the uh, black, shaggy hair uh, foreign guy, I believe he's a foreign man. Uh, you know, since I live in the U.S., he's foreign to me. Anyways, uh, it seems that they finally, you know, finally may have found the killer, if that's him, or maybe it's not him at all. Uh, maybe it's someone else entirely. Uh, maybe Donald Sutherland has something to do with, you know, very, being a very shady character. Anyways, uh, enough speculation on that. Uh, do you guys think the crossing lines on NBC? Do you think the show is good enough to have a season two? Personally and honestly, in the same case with Who Done It, I would really like to see Crossing Lines have a season two. I think it's good enough. I don't think it's an amazing series. It does have some amazing scenes in it, some amazing actors in it, but as a whole, and the series as a whole in general, it's not an amazing series. Though I do think it's pretty good, and I do, would like to see a season two. Let me know on your opinion and thoughts on whether or not it should have a season two. And that's pretty much my theories and speculation on whether or not the NBC television show by the name of Crossing Lines and whether or not it will have a season two. Once again, thanks for watching another video by Centipede Geek. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my page below. And I'll see you guys later with more videos by Centipede Geek.